nice one. That is beautiful. These few oysters yield valuable information about the bottom of our Chesapeake Bay. They are an important keystone species on which other marine life depend for habitat. Before the oyster harvesting boom of the late 1800s, large three-dimensional oyster reefs could be found all over the Chesapeake. Standing substantially above the bottom, they are essential for oyster reproductive success, protection from predators, and to create habitat for other organisms. But the reefs were knocked down by 150 years of harvesting. In 2003, the Maryland Environmental Service began a novel approach to restore our bay's lost reef structure. Large concrete reef balls, hollow and clean, were made and then lowered across three 100-acre areas designated as oyster sanctuaries by the Maryland General Assembly. The hope was to create a viable habitat structure for tiny oyster spat to adhere and grow on. Eleven years later, research divers would make a remarkable discovery in the Somerset Oyster Sanctuary located in Tangier Sound. The gray concrete reef balls had transformed into colorful, live reef habitat. These reef balls are so loaded with life. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's spectacular. That's what we wanted to hear. There's color down there. The sponge is nice and orange. And there's live oysters that some of them look like they're six inches long. There were a lot of small little invertebrates, too. I saw grass shrimp, um, some like little mud crab, and there was a feather blenny in there. It's just, it's a beautiful little oasis down there. It's a three-dimensional reef. Huh? It's like you went back to the 19th century. Here we go. Reef ball BB-12 is brought up for closer inspection. It's looking awesome. It's a piece of reef. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Redbeard sponge, tunicates, mobula, rhizomes. University of Maryland biologists collected data from the reef ball. 116. So these oysters here are anywhere from what, three to five years old. Then we got some one-year-olds here. Important discoveries are being made. And baby oysters, or spat, are found. A clear indication of natural spat set. So yeah, I think the, the reef balls have substantially more oysters than the bottom surrounding them. So oysters like it up in the water column, maybe. <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess that's know. not too surprising. <laughs> Reef balls appear to be valuable in re-establishing oyster reefs and habitat for our bay's marine life. Going down. It looks like it's good habitat for oysters and, and the whole reef community. 